Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DNB. and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you six bathroom design trends that I think you need to know about as we move into 2022. 2022? Where did that time go? Bathroom trends obviously come and go, but I've tried to pick ones that are both sleek and stylish so that they don't go out of style. I think that when you design your home, if you pick really chic pieces, you can never really go wrong and they won't feel dated. Maybe you're about to do a bathroom remodel and just need some inspiration, or maybe you just want to know more about the freshest upcoming bathroom ideas, but don't worry because I cover all that good stuff in this video, so if you're interested, let's jump in. I think that with any bathroom, we're trying to create a fresh, clean space. That is something that's universal and hasn't changed throughout the years. However, I would say that the current trends that we're seeing also sweeping into next year definitely stray away from a traditional, clinical, white modern bathroom we're used to. On the whole, I would say the main trend is adding character to your bathroom. Put your own personality and flavour into the design scheme and steer away from the classic style we are so accustomed to seeing. Going forward, a modern bathroom still feels spacious and immaculate, but is more adventurous and bolder in terms of the interior design. So lots of saturated colours, harsher lines and shapes, experimenting with different materials together, feature pieces and smart appliances. But let's dive into each specific bathroom trend in more detail. Like I already said, I think that we'll be seeing a lot more adventurous, eye-catching elements, and one thing I think we'll be seeing more of are fluted tiles. Commonly, we use large tiles for the floor and smaller, usually rectangular tiles for walls, right? But now in 2022, I think we'll be starting to venture into using tiles with a bit more dimension and texture. Fluted tiles are great because they can add a lot of drama to a simple modern bathroom and they just elevate the design a bit more. The structured decor tiles design actually originates from the art deco era, but it actually kind of reminds me of bamboo. So I think it could be a good tile to use if you wanted to create a calming zen feel to your bathroom. Bathroom tiles can definitely sometimes be plain and boring, but the fluted look certainly adds a unique yet contemporary look to any bathroom. Go for soft neutrals if you want to keep a simpler pristine appearance or choose colour tiles which would instantly create a dramatic statement. Speaking of different hues, what kind of colours will be popular for bathrooms next year? Now, with the right decor, fixtures and styling, I personally think that any colour has the potential to look stunning. However, one colour that I think is going to be huge for bathrooms is green. Before we've seen green accents in bathrooms, but not this amount of green before. Green tiles and paint are fantastic for trying to mix the outdoors with indoor spaces, and by using it, it gives more of a nature-themed aesthetic. Forest green, olive green, avocado, khaki and sage are the shades that are extremely popular and are great for creating that calming, spa-like bathroom atmosphere. This is certainly a top bathroom trend to watch, and I think the reason being, it's a refreshing and invigorating colour, making it the perfect colour palette for your bathroom. If you're not too crazy on colour in the bathroom, other colours that we'll be seeing a lot more of are muted natural tones. And you may be thinking, well, muted natural tones aren't exactly anything new. But what is becoming increasingly sought after is combining multiple different tones and different textures with one another to give an overall modern bathroom. Before, where we would be seeing only two materials being used on the walls and the floor, but now the mixture of lots of different materials is becoming very fashionable and I have to say it works really well. Marble tiles, wood and geometric patterns work brilliantly together, as well as concrete, wood slat panelling and glass. Like I already said, bright white bathrooms have been extremely popular the past 20 years, but now the natural tones have actually shifted towards darker tints. Although the colour palette isn't varied, you still get a gorgeous effect because of the different shapes and styles brought through by the different materials. If you choose this style, I recommend working with four materials as a minimum, as each material just adds more interest and dimension to the space. The third bathroom design idea is all about bringing things back from the past. And strangely, those colourful plumbing fixtures from yesteryear are making a huge comeback. Which is funny to me considering most of us have spent years renovating bathrooms and taking out 50s plumbing that looked exactly like that. 
but hey, it's just what happens. Trends come and go and go full cycle. Whether it's just through pops of bright colours or actual vintage salvaged pieces, nostalgic bathroom ceramics are here to stay. This is a fantastic trend for anyone who is looking to level up their bathroom and give it a wow factor. And I'm not gonna lie, bathrooms can sometimes be the most boring part of the house, but by updating yours and giving it a playful look, it will certainly make sure that it's never dull. You can either go full tilt retro realness or stick to modern shapes with fearless streaks of colour. Both give a lively, compelling interior. More bathroom fixtures we'll be seeing a lot more of are black finishes such as lighting, taps, shower screens, handles, radiators and hooks, anything that would usually be chrome or brass. And this isn't a new trend, it's been popular for two years I'd say, but we'll see it to continue to overtake past fixtures we commonly used before. Crittle screens, which originated in the 1880s, are now even weaving their way into the bathroom, so I think we'll be seeing a lot more of these. Also, black bathtubs will be more common as well, and I think the reason for all of these black elements is because of the popular Japandi trend. Japandi is of course the fusion of both Japanese and Scandinavian styles. This whole idea of wabi-sabi has definitely influenced us to want more of these kind of bathrooms. And lastly, let's look at the smaller details that we'll be seeing the rest of this year and in 2022. First up are these beautiful curvaceous mirrors. Oval, circular and what I like to call liquefied mirrors are going to be dominating bathrooms from now on. And they kind of remind me of Dali's clocks. I think that square and rectangular mirrors that are above bathroom cabinets are no longer on trend, even though I think that they still look good. However, if you think about it, most bathrooms are incredibly straight lined and angular. And the reason why I love this trend is because it breaks up by adding some softness to the space. So make sure to look for some round pieces for your bathroom and if I were to give you a top tip, it would be to make sure that they are backlit to create a soft glowing light around the edge to make it a focal point within your bathroom. And whilst we're on the subject of lighting, I wanted to mention these really interesting pendant lights. They have a really funky contemporary design and are usually available in brass or a matte black finish. This kind of glass ball pendant light also adds some softness to the bathroom, like the mirrors, and they come in all kinds of configurations, making it adaptable for any kind of style bathroom. Usually they dangle from above the vanity area, which is a brilliant way to make that the main feature of your space. So think about using these round pendants to frame your sink area and light up the bathroom. Now I'm sure that not all of these trends and bathroom ideas were your cup of tea, but I'm hoping that at least one of them were inspiring to you, and maybe you even consider picking one to use for your bathroom next year. And if you guys want more advice, I have a whole playlist of home decor and interior design tips, so I'll leave it linked down for you. If you're new to our channel, then I just wanna say welcome. On the channel, we talk about interior design, home decor, and so much more cool creative stuff. So if any of that interests you, make sure to subscribe to see videos just like this one. Leave me some kind of bathroom emoji down below to let me know that you guys enjoyed this video or learned something new and if you liked it then please give it a big thumbs up because by doing that you actually really help our channel to reach even more people. Okay guys, I hope that you found these bathroom interior design ideas inspiring and let me know what your favourite bathroom styles are. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one, bye!